Today we're going to be talking about how to build and play Changa in Conquest and mainly we're going to be talking about solo lane because I feel like she's probably the most underrated solo lane there is uh, and since solo lane is one of the lanes that you teleport to her passive just makes everything so good. Very easy to get a kill early game with her because you usually get item upgrade without actually having to leave the lane and that little power spike for example if you start off with this from 20 to 60 it's an extra 40 power and it really does show when you are are fighting in the solo lane so we're going to start off with solo lane build we still start off with signs of time main reason being because we upgraded the alternate timeline which does give us the protections that we want to be a tanky solo laner and there's like two ways you can go if you're against a healer then i'd prefer to go divine first uh, and if you're not against a healer then i'll just go a health item which in most cases will be warlocks just because you're going to be tanky later on so you're going to want the health uh, most of the time Oh, actually, you know what? I'll go through the two builds because there will be the healer game uh, and there will be the warlock stuff because you might have to go anti-heal anyway because there might be an Aphrodite that's a support. So I have to go that first and then most of the time it is a physical god so I will go breastplate. Um, this is just really good. You can go this first but I just like that little power spike. Again, even here, let's see if it's as big. It's not as big as it would be if you started off with divine but you go for 15 to 45. That's a 30... 30 power spike, and while you are in lane, you can use your passive to go and get that. So, uh, breastplate of regrowth, and since I am already on a cooldown, uh, we're not going to overcap because that gives 10% and still stays as 10%. That's going to be another 10%, and then I'll go, uh, what is it called? Pridwin, and I'll go upgrade to Pridwin as well, just because it really does help when you do all late game. And I'm actually surprised at the number of gods I've actually killed using Pridwin. Uh, then I usually do game dependent, so I will sometimes either look here and be like, you know what, what is going on? Have they got a lot of CC? Uh, if they do, then I'll try and just change the breastplate, but most of the time I'll look for stuff that doesn't have CC. Uh, and again, like I said, it is game dependent. Uh, most of the time, although I've already got these two protections built, I'll see who's doing more damage, the magical or the physical. If it's a physical and it's healing, I'll go contagion. If it's a physical and they're doing crit, then I'll go a spectral. Um, if they're a magical that's doing more damage, then I prefer to go an Oni Hunter's Garb just because of the damage mitigations. But most of the time, I'll just go a Contagion. And then last item, I like to go uh, Ethereal. And again, you're building up your health. You're already at 2.7k with the protections. And then the Sands of Time becomes... Uh, alternate timeline. It just helps out throughout the game. Now, one of the most amazing things about Chang'e is the the damage that she does is just kind of a lot for, you know, uh, someone that's only got 245 power. And then a cooldown, for example, for one is 3.6 seconds. So you kind of just spam the 1-3 and just, I don't know, it's just really good. I'm just going to show a quick example. So obviously you do your 3, then your 1. And bearing in mind, you are going to be in team fights. So, um, it, that's the main combo, the 4-3-2. Since her passive says, um, no backpedal, and her abilities apply a debuff to enemies. So, since the 1 does more damage than the actual 3, you want to do your 3 first so that they take extra damage from the 1. I'll just show an example. Okay, never mind, that didn't hit. Oh, by the way, if you do play Chang'e, use quick casting because quick casting just makes it so easier. So my one does 249 damage. Or... God. Does that debuff me? Al. 261. So either way, you do, you know, you do any damage that you do more uh, is, is going to be helpful. Um, that is the build now. If they got a bit more healing, then I will just go divine here. Where is it? Divine. And I'm just thinking if I change the rest of the build, that item might change them because I obviously don't have the health from there. Uh, but even then, I will maybe just prefer to go that. Or if I'm looking at a different power item, I might just go uh, like a gem. Just nice to slow them in a team fight. If not that, then I like to also go some healing bolstering. So I'll go 
not a rod because he does over cap your cooldown it's annoying you know a lot of these things can cap your cooldown but in that case i will just kind of maybe change the pridwin to something with 10 percent cooldown uh where that can be again game dependent but i'm just telling you like an average but i like going spirit robe if they have a lot of cc if not then i'll just go mantle of discord and then that helps me get a healing bolstering item like a rod of uh asclepius or a lotus sickle i do like lotus but i go that more on a support build so i will just go rod uh, just for the extra healing uh, and that will be that for the build now in terms of abilities i do start with the one then the three then the two um the reason i start with the one is because it's got the lower cooldown i max the one first then i max the three then i max the two and then i max the ult the two I prefer to max before the ult because the ult I mostly use for um, uh, the stun. Because the I can hit them with the ult and then go 3-1. Three, three, uh, the two I like to max third because the cooldown does go down. So after I'm doing the damage with the 3-1 combo, I can use a two more often. And as you can see, max cooldown is 8.4 seconds. Just check, yeah, I got max cooldown. Uh, the main combo, there's not really like some next level combos. There's a 3 1 always because you debuff them with the 3. And then the obvious one is going to be the ult 3 1. Uh, I'm just going to see. It does say that you stun them longer if you. Oh god. There's the reset cooldown. Right. If I just stun him, it's just one second. Now, if I stun more, it's longer, right? Oh, of course it don't work. Alright. So I'm going to try and stun these two. I don't know why they don't put them more together. Should be two seconds. Okay, so yeah. So the consecutive god is stunned for longer. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that is about it. I don't know what else. Uh, relics are obviously up to you. Uh, there is the damage build, which I might as well go through as well. Because obviously you can build her damage. You just sell everything. You do still go Sansa Time. Because why not? It's a really good item. Sons of Time into... You want to go max cooldown first. So I will go... That. So you're already at 30% cooldown. Going to be doing lots of damage. Most of the time they will have a healer. So go with Divine. I mean Divine's a good item now anyway. So I don't know why you wouldn't go it. Now... Because you already heal. Go a Karen's Coin for the 20% penetration. And since you are doing extra damage. I like to go a Rod and a Mirrodin. Uh, that's going to give you a max cooldown with that. And for this, you're going to go on that. Because it does reduce your cooldown. Obviously, you're going to be doing the 3-1. Which actually, I want to check how much of a difference it does make. If I reset that. And I remove my reduced cooldowns. Oh. Why have I not bought this? There you go. So if I mark them there. Yes. That worked, yeah. So, three seconds? Is that a... That is very low. I don't know why. Wait. Three seconds? Yeah. So, that's that. And yeah, that is about it for Changa. Very underrated, very good solo laner uh, and mid god. It's just her base damage is really high. I feel like I'm always doing damage. So that's it for the build. Uh, if you've got any other questions or you want to see any other gods, leave in the comments below. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.